Hi, I'm Plastic Free Mermaid, I'm Catherine, and today I'm going to be making padsicles for my postpartum healing. So these are <clears throat> a DIY way to support the healing of the vaginal tissue and perineum and all of, uh, yeah, just like to support the skin as it recovers from birth. So I'm using um, just diaper inserts. I'm just gonna make a bunch of these diaper inserts as well as some bigger ones, because um, I just have no idea what to expect and how much surface area I wanna cover. Um, if you have reusable pads, that is ideal, use those. Um, my order hasn't arrived yet. So we, we've relocated from Australia to Hawaii and things just take a long time to ship here. So I'm being patient, um, but in case baby, because I'm very, very pregnant, 10 weeks, I mean 10 months, <laughs> the brain, the brain goes a bit at this stage. Um, so yeah, so in case baby comes, I will have a little stash of padsicles and they're called padsicles because they're pads that are frozen into like a padsicle. Um, all we're using is witch hazel. So I have this um, bottle of witch hazel and aloe vera. That's it. I just cut this from the bush out in my yard. Um, okay, let's get started. I'm also going to be filming on my phone so that I can share this to um, Instagram in a short form. So if you see me fumbling, that's what I'm doing. But um, if you're joining me to make these, grab your reusable pads or your diaper inserts, or you can just use strips of cloth as well. So if you have old towels, um, that works too. Just cut them into a strip, um, or you can fold them like this or into thirds. And then you can just tuck that into your undies. And um, <clears throat> that might be good because as the frozen elements melt, then it won't go all over your pants or bed or whatever, but you're probably sleeping with a towel underneath you at that stage anyways. Um, and the reason why we're making these is because it is common for people to buy disposable pads and make these disposable padsicles, but we know that pads are made of plastic and plastic doesn't biodegrade for a thousand years. So instead of polluting our planet, we are choosing to make reusable um, uh, padsicles or just padsicles from reusable, repurposable items. So once I'm done with these, I'll use these for my baby in his larger diapers. So that's why I can kind of get away with using the um, diaper inserts for the early stage is because we have sp special tiny little newborn baby diapers that we'll use initially so okay so those are some options reusable pads diaper inserts repurposed um, towels old towels and you can also sew these into a pad shape if you're if you're handy like that I'm so pregnant I was hoping my pads my reusable pads would arrive by now they haven't so I'm just gonna do this um, but yeah, if you, if you feel inspired to sew towels, that's great. Good for you. Okay. So, we have, let me just get this sorted. That's not organized. I might tilt the screen a bit so you guys can see better. Our ingredients. And we'll start with the aloe vera. So we cut the spiky bits off. Okay. 
it's a bit messy, but <clears throat> I got this. That's why I keep my workspace covered um, so that I can just rinse and clean these instead of having to clean the workspace every time. Um, okay, so then once we've got the edges cut off, then we'll flip it over and I'm just going to cut along in here just between the skin and the gel. Good dewiness now, and then do the same on this side. A little bit trickier because it's rounded. And we've got that sort of like pretty good. <clears throat> I'll just tidy this up a bit, but this is this is perfect. Like all this gooiness is exactly what we want. <clears throat> um, so now I'll just tidy this up and then get our first pads of holes ready. And it's good. Like I like to just always when I'm doing this kind of do like skincare and um, make use of these beautiful natural ingredients while I'm playing with them. So we'll just tidy this up a bit. And that's pretty good. We've got our aloe, and then we'll take our first padsicle. And it's a bit messy right there, so I'm just going to move this and use this space here. And we're going to actually use all this goo and just put it right in there. of this aloe. And I might even cut a strip. So I've got some fresh goo. Put it right in there. Most people would be using the store-bought gel, um, but that has weird stuff added to it. So I like to just use the fresh. So chop a bit up here. And now we have some nice goo that I can just put straight into the pad. Kind of massage it in there. And we're going to 
do one tablespoon of witch hazel. So this has water, organic aloe, glycerin, witch hazel extract, organic citric acid, citrus, um, grandis seed extract. So that's pretty good. That's it. So that's my my first padsicle done, and then I'll just put these in the refrigerator. <clears throat> I'm gonna put baking um, paper strips or tin foil between them so they don't stick together. Um, but that's it. And you can't see, but maybe you can. It's not soaking through, so that's pretty good. So that's our padsicles, all natural. Um, reusable had a big ice chewing obsession this pregnancy oh his little foot um, and this is like <clears throat> nettle tea so it's really good for iron building because sometimes they say that this ice chewing is a sign of low iron. So I don't know that I get to satisfy my low iron craving and replenish my iron in one. So that's our patsicle. And I hope you enjoy. If you like these styles of videos, um, let me know if there's anything that you need um, more ingredients or more um, information on, please don't be shy, just ask. Um, but yeah, it's it's so much easier. This took us like what, um, 10 minutes and I was like fumbling most of the time, <laughs> which is just me pregnant and I apologize for that. I'll try to get better at that if I continue to do these, if these are helpful and useful. Um, but yeah, so easy. It would have taken me more time to go to the store and buy this stuff. Um, and I already had these diaper inserts, so here we go. Aloe growing in the yard. Um, witch hazel you can buy almost anywhere. It's a really common um, ingredient. So you can get that most places. A lot of people use it as toner, um, which makes sense to rehydrate and um, support our, our skin healing after birth. So <clears throat> I hope this is successful for you. Um, if you don't like the chunks, I'm weird. I'm excited for that. I think like the straight up plant goo is going to feel amazing. Um, if you're not into that, just blend it with some water um, or blend it with the witch hazel and then you can apply that directly to the pad. Um, so we used a teaspoon of witch hazel so you can just blend, you know, maybe like a one inch square <clears throat> um, of aloe vera with the one tablespoon of witch hazel times five or how many pads you're making um, and then you can apply that to the pads so that's if you don't want to have these chunks but I'm, I'm, I'm into it all right good luck and let me know how you go